welcome to this uh, fourth lecture on uh, the first chapter of introduction. And uh, so, this is uh, the last lecture of this chapter and uh, the in this lecture we will be focusing on the various literature uh, sources, the data sources as well as internet sources which are uh, related to ground water. And now, let us uh, come to the various uh, sources. As we all know, so this uh, ground water, it is it, it uh, forms one of the major component of fresh water. So therefore, right from the uh, beginning of the human society, there have been attempts to estimate or uh, document or uh, even uh, present, so the various uh, phenomena related to ground water. And uh, it is always this ground water is in combination with surface water. So therefore, so there have been various uh, right from the human, uh, the beginning of the human history. So there have been attempts and uh, many of them are uh, even now. So, they are existing and let us uh, come to, first let us come to this, uh, the various literature that are available in this uh, on uh, ground water. Firstly, it is the, I would like to start with the, the oldest ones chronologically, it is the ancient books and other traditional knowledge sources. So, these are essentially in all the uh, regions where the the human civilization started say for example, all the river valley uh, civilizations whether it is the Indus valley, river, Indus uh, river valley civilization in uh, the present day India and Pakistan or whether it is the, uh, the Mesopotamian uh, river valley civilization in Iraq or it is the Nile uh, river valley civilization in Egypt. So, wherever this river valley civilization started, so along with that so there uh, the the documentation of uh, the groundwater related uh, phenomena as well as uh, the groundwater related structures and all those things started so here we can mention so in the indian context we can mention the the brahat samhita written by varaha mihira actually and uh, of course the the original sanskrit text it has been translated and uh, many commentaries have been uh, written because uh, and uh, here, so because the, the property of Sanskrit language in which maximum meaning is conveyed in uh, minimum letters, words and sentences. So, there is a lot of room for interpretation. So, many interpretations have also been written and uh, coming to this and also another example I can give is the, the Saraswati river in uh, the India, which was uh, earlier, it is believed to be uh, a tributary of uh, Indus and presently it is believed to be a, it is a tributary, it is an unseen tributary of uh, river Ganga joining uh, uh, as a third uh, that is underground stream uh, along with uh, Yamuna in the city of Allahabad. So, here so, this and uh, there have been uh, the problem with these traditional as well as uh, ancient sources is many of them are under documented or uh, undocumented, but still there are many proofs say for example, the, the entire uh, Rajasthan uh, in the entire state of Rajasthan. So, the, the present uh, day in the middle of Rajasthan, so there is what is presently known as uh, Ghaggar. Uh, uh, river as one catchment. So, there is an ample uh, ground water reserve available and even now, so there have been many studies by uh, few studies by the space application center Ahmedabad of uh, Indian space research organization. So, they had they are trying to bridge the gap between this uh, undocumented or under documented ancient sources. And I am sure uh, this is the same case with whether it is the Mesopotamian uh, river valley civilization in the present day Iraq or the Nile river valley civilization in uh, 
the present day Egypt or even other uh, the, the Chinese uh, uh, ancient river valley civilizations or even the other uh, one like uh, the Israel and so on. So, now let us come to the other sources other than this ancient books and traditional as one. So, it is the books and uh, handbooks and there have been many books and handbooks on uh, ground water uh, written uh, almost uh, uh, in the past say 150 to 200 years either uh, as a part of the water resources or hydrology or hydraulics books or uh, exclusively as a part of uh, ground water. And also there have been many handbooks which contain uh, not necessarily on ground water other phenomena such as the handbook of uh, uh, hydrology, the handbook of uh, 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 hydraulics or handbook of uh, say water resources. And all this, so they also constitute a very large amount of uh, literature on this one. Next is it is the, the journal publications and uh, it has been uh, mentioned that in the past 150 years or so, so there have been many journals related to hydrology, hydraulics or uh, water resources, ground water. And uh, so, in these journals or water resources economics, in these journals uh, more than say 55,000 of 55,000 uh, uh, articles, they may be full length papers or they may be discussions or they may be other uh, case studies. So, they have been published and it constitutes a, even a large source of uh, literature. And uh, now, let us come to the uh, other uh, publications which is the conference publications and uh, uh, it has been in the past say 100 years or so a large number of conferences have been organized on uh, water related issues on hydrology on uh, hydraulics on uh, water resources economics groundwater and uh, so these publications uh, conducted by organized by various uh, uh, national as well as international uh, bodies. So, uh, they, they also present a large uh, source of uh, literature. Next it comes to the publications from the United Nations affiliated uh, bodies. So, here, so there is uh, what is called the UN water which consists of say 28 uh, United Nations bodies and out of them the three important ones I would like to list here which is the UNESCO, United Nations Economics, this educational I am sorry, educational scientific cultural organization headquartered in uh, uh, Paris, France, the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, the Food and uh, Agricultural Organization that is uh, in uh, uh, headquarters in headquartered in uh, Rome, Italy. So, these are some of the uh, three or uh, three main UN organizations in the uh, uh, which constitutes a 28 uh, United Nations bodies constituting uh, collectively what is known as UN water. Also, Next, it is the publications from government agencies and in this case the governments depending upon their uh, uh, technical capabilities in the developed uh, countries such as uh, USA or many European countries, uh, uh, Japan, uh, uh, the former uh, Soviet Union, the present Russia as well as the uh, uh, Council of Independent States as well as the, the Groundwater Board, Central Groundwater Board in India. So, these, so their publications, so they may be in the form of handouts or they may be in the form of uh, uh, books or they may be in the form of uh, say maps or they may be in the form of uh, tables or charts or predictions. So, all these, they also constitute an important uh, form of uh, literature. 
pertaining to ground water. Next, let me list here the publications from uh, non governmental organizations as well as agencies. In addition to the governmental organizations, so there have been many non governmental organizations uh, involved in the water sector. So, they have uh, brought out their own publications, they may be again books or they may be guidelines or they may be other uh, resources for uh, conserving other uh, uh, handouts or manuals to conserve uh, ground water, to conserve surface water in conjunction with ground water. And uh, in this I would like to mention, so in the Indian context I would like to mention the Center for Science and Environment in New Delhi as well as the Gandhi Peace Foundation. So, as well as this, so there are many other uh, bodies uh, which work in the area of water. So, their publications, their books, handouts, their uh, other uh, maps and uh, so these are also various. Uh, and uh, coming to next is the publications by corporate organizations and their uh, collaborators. So, here I would like to mention the publications brought out by this World Bank, Asian Development Bank as well as uh, other uh, financial institutes or uh, corporate bodies which are involved in this funding various uh, uh, projects related to water resources, ground water, hydrology, hydraulics and uh, so on. And so, they also form a very important uh, source of ground water. And uh, uh, lastly, I would like to mention here all other sources, even a simple uh, uh, this uh, newspaper article uh, pertaining to say ground water or uh, ground water in, gen in conjunction with uh, surface water and other uh, one. So, the magazine articles uh, as well as the popular uh, science articles and as well as the popular TV programs such as uh, on the discovery channel, the programs which are uh, aired on the discovery channel and uh, other uh, uh, such educational TV programs. So, they also form a very important source of uh, literature pertaining to ground water. And in the uh, this uh, and added to this is the recent uh, impact of climate change and so, which has uh, resulted in the constitution of bodies such as the intergovernmental panel on climate change. So, they also they have brought out many publications, uh, uh, case study scenarios, future case study scenarios. So, all these form an important uh, sources of literature available on, on uh, ground water. So, and uh, as we all uh, we should be aware that the uh, these literature pertain to the ground water which is below the surface of uh, earth and obviously so the as i am reminding uh, right from uh, lecture 1 so there are more in uh, so ground water represents the invisible or say less visible domain of uh, water resources so, there is more room for uncertainty and then more room for uh, uh, say error and there is uh, more room for uh, speculation and all this. So, therefore, so all this uh, literature which is available which I have mentioned here should be taken with a pinch of salt. Of course, they, they have to be uh, verified. So, their uh, 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 authenticity, their uh, applicability as well as their uh, 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 usefulness need to be verified using the basic principles of uh, science, uh, engineering and technology. And uh, so, uh, uh, we should always bear in mind that uh, so, these ground water resources, the literature on ground water. So, it should be uh, relevant, it should uh, give the useful information and it should also be uh, willing to uh, stand the test of time 
in the in a limited uh, time horizon at least. Now, let us come to the various uh, data sources which are uh, available on ground water. So, in this uh, as I mentioned in the literature uh, which I was mentioning a uh, few minutes back. So, in all this literature, so there is uh, uh, there are a large amount of data sources which is available in the form of say graphs, maps as well as tables uh, and uh, nomograms and uh, other uh, uh, one. And here, so in this case, so there uh, we should also, uh, I would also like to mention here some of the, the traditional uh, uh, knowledge bases which may be uh, undocumented or under documented. Say for example, in the Indian context, so there is a uh, popular belief that uh, the water from Ganga in the north is going to uh, join the waters from the South Indian rivers or uh, the rivers in the other regions of India uh, such as in the west and uh, as well as in the south. So, uh, of course, there is a uh, need to uh, uh, scientifically verify these uh, uh, kinds of popular beliefs. But at the same time, so there is uh, no harm in uh, studying in uh, initiating studies, which there is a possibility if uh, that they may solve, they may provide to be a good uh, source of data for uh, addressing the, uh, the quality as well as quantity issues in groundwater. So, here coming to the data sources, the data presented in books. The, the, the data presented in uh, handbooks as I mentioned. So, there are various handbooks which are pu published on uh, groundwater or hydrology, hydraulics or this one as well as the, the, uh, the data presented in journal. And here we should also remember that uh, data does not essentially mean the numerical data, it may also include the data presented in the form of uh, graphs, in the form of charts or in the form of maps in addition to the statistical or numerical data as well as the data published in the um, presented and published in the conference uh, publications or uh, say symposia or seminar and all these. So, they constitute uh, uh, the major sources of uh, data available on ground water. Next it is the data presented or data which is available from the UN affiliated bodies as I was mentioning it is the UN water consisting of say 28 UN bodies out of them. So, few uh, that is uh, I have already mentioned about say UNESCO, uh, the World Meteorological Organization, the uh, Food and Agricultural Organization. You may wonder why this Food and Agricultural Organization is uh, uh, also such a major is one because uh, so water goes hand in hand with uh, food so and uh, for uh, growing food so there are the water is a major requirement and uh, so therefore the food and agriculture and uh, agriculture represents the major consumer of uh, water resources so therefore food and the agriculture organization so they have uh, uh, evolved their own methods for estimating the water uh, which is available at present as well as uh, estimating water in the uh, in the immediate future. So, therefore, and added to that, so there are uh, say the UNESCO, it has a special portal on uh, water and in this UNESCO water portal, so the discharges of uh, the various rivers, the maximum discharge, the minimum discharge the annual maximum discharge, the annual minimum discharge as well as the monthly average discharge for uh, very for all the rivers in the, the world. So, they have been uh, uh, presented in tabular form and uh, so they include the, the largest river in the world in terms of discharge that is the Amazon river in uh, uh, South American continent which is the, the most water rich continent in the world as well as the rivers which are which are flowing through 
the deserts in uh, Africa or in uh, say few rivers such as say, the Nile river and uh, so they have been also presented in this uh, UNESCO the discharges of uh, selected uh, water rivers and uh, so on. And uh, so there are other data like uh, such as the world water assessment program, uh, the international hydrology program that is IHP, the world water assessment program that is WWAP, the global water partnership which is the partnership uh, between uh, UN uh, bodies such as World Meteorological Organization, UNESCO as well as other uh, uh, World uh, Food and Agricultural Organization. So, all this, so uh, they constitute, uh, they have presented the data related to groundwater uh, in general as well as groundwater and surface water uh, uh, in uh, uh, groundwater in particular, groundwater and surface water in general in the form of various uh, maps, charts, that is, uh, numerical or statistical data as well as uh, graphs and uh, so on. So, they constitute uh, some of the major this one and here I would like, I would also like to mention the intergovernmental panel on uh, climate change and uh, coming to the other data that is available. So, here I would like to mention the, the data which has been published by the various uh, government agencies. Say like in the Indian context, the Ministry of uh, Water Resources, so they have published the data pertaining to the non-classified rivers. Unfortunately, so the uh, 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 the Indian government is uh, always uh, associated with uh, water conflicts with neighbors. Earlier it was uh, Bangladesh and presently it is also uh, with uh, Pakistan in terms of this one. So, therefore, for the, uh, the non-classified rivers of India, so the, in the uh, data pertaining to ground water as well as uh, ground water and surface water is uh, published in uh, what is known as the integrated hydrological data book which can be easily uh, um, um, purchased or even it can on, it should be downloaded as one. And in case of uh, US, it is the USGS uh, database. So, this USGS database, so it is, uh, it is uh, one of the very extensive database uh, which uh, pertains to the uh, the rainfall or uh, precipitation as well as it pertains to runoff. So, here uh, in terms of this uh, rainfall, so the uh, uh, the all the uh, the 50 state the 48 contiguous states of US mainland. So, they have been uh, uh, this uh, divided into say various uh, meteorological zones and as well as uh, smaller regions. Uh, so, depending upon the, uh, the altitude of a region, the, the distance from the coast as well as other features. So, uh, this uh, USGS database pertaining to precipitation as well as the USGS database pertaining to the runoff. So, in which the all the rivers have been classified into the uh, different uh, basins and each river has been given an eight digit code. The first two digits representing the basin, the third and fourth digit representing the, uh, the sub basin, the fifth and sixth digit representing the, uh, the mini basin uh, or the small basin and the seventh and eighth uh, digit representing the, the micro basin or the, the smallest uh, basin which is also known as a hydrologic uh, unit. So, like this every uh, river uh, tributary has been given a numerical code and then accordingly, so its data has been uh, the data pertaining to the surface water as well as surface water and ground water in the in that basin 
has been presented. In the Indian context, it is the CWC database in India, which consists of uh, the various uh, gauging stations. So, these gauging stations have been uh, 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 divided into the gauging stations, which provide the data on simply uh, gauge as well as discharge, which is essentially surface water data. And uh, there are a few gauging stations, which also provide data in terms of uh, gauge, discharge, then sedimentation and water quality, as well as the NRSA, the National Remote Sensing Agency uh, maps uh, published in India. Uh, so, like that, so there have been other uh, uh, the data maintained and uh, published by the river basin authorities, such as the uh, the Bhakra BS Management Board, the Brahmaputra Board, as well as the other, uh, the Narmada Control Authority, or uh, this one. And in case of say USA, it is the the St. John's uh, Water District in uh, Florida, and uh, so even in many uh, other uh, European, as well as the uh, Asian uh, agencies, there have been many. Uh, uh, agencies which uh, maintain the data related to river basin and obviously they also maintain the groundwater related data in that particular basin and uh, added to in addition to this so the data maintained by state and uh, local government agencies so some of the state as well as local government agencies in uh, developing countries such as india the developed countries such as usa as well as uh, europe uh, Japan uh, and other uh, countries. So, they have uh, they have maintained a very good data, uh, again in the form of say statistical data, graphs, maps, charts and all this. So, depending upon uh, this one, they have a very good monitoring network and uh, so their uh, data is also one of the. Next is the data from say non-governmental organizations or agencies. So, in this case, uh, in the Indian context, I would like to mention the citizens report brought out by the Center for Science and Environment. So, so far they have brought out uh, the, uh, that is the data book on uh, uh, the five citizens report on uh, environment and the state of the environment, especially the, the fifth citizens report which contains one uh, source, which is essentially the statistical data pertaining to say other uh, environmental uh, uh, related uh, issues, which in which water in general and ground water is also a very important. Uh, one. So, and of course, there are other uh, uh, non-governmental agencies working in the water sector. So, they have also brought out uh, many, uh, they have also published collected and published data from uh, their uh, various studies. And uh, next it is the data from the corporate or organi corporate organizations and their water bodies. So, here I would like to mention the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank as well as other uh, funding agencies, which have uh, funded various uh, water resources as well as ground water related uh, uh, programs. Uh, so, the the surface water and ground water uh, interaction and all these, uh, so, uh, so the, uh, these, uh, the data published from these also constitute. Uh, and next is the, the data from uh, other sources. So, here in this case, the, the, the data from other sources, it could be even say simple uh, school textbook or it could be from a TV program, the popular uh, science program or it could be from any other uh, sources such as a newspaper article or it could be even uh, from a, uh, a this popular uh, science fiction books or uh, even this one. So, they also have presented a, a large amount of data pertaining to ground, ground water. So, these are some of the, the data sources, which are available in uh, this uh, ground water. 
And now let us come to the last part uh, related to the groundwater data, which is the internet uh, data source. As uh, uh, it is evident now, so the internet forms a large amount of uh, data source, uh, which is essentially it is an online library. So earlier there used to be the, the actual libraries wherein the data uh, in the form of say books or even uh, say other databases. So, it was physically stored and uh, it was being accessed by various uh, uh, These days it is the, the internet which is uh, the basically the information superhighway. So, in this so there are uh, there is a large amount of uh, data source and uh, here I would like to mention the online libraries the online databases man, uh, maintained by the publishing uh, the journal publishing houses as well as uh, uh, various uh, uh, professional organizations their websites online libraries databases and uh, so on so here so it is the uh, uh, this uh, this is a vast source and uh, this uh, most of the data which has been which is available in the either as a literature or as a data source is also available uh, in these days as a source on internet and of course uh, due to their commercial uh, one so it may not be available fully but at least a significant amount of uh, that is available in the form of a data source here uh, in the journal publishing houses, I would like to mention here so a few of the two of the most important journals uh, related to groundwater. That is the groundwater journal, as well as the Journal of Hydrology. And uh, so these journals, so they have uh, the groundwater journal. So they maintains a large amount of database and uh, online library. Uh, so which can be accessed uh, by doing a simple internet search. And so it contains the uh, information about the the books, the journal articles, the databases as well as other uh, sources and uh, so on. So which is very much uh, useful, especially in the areas, uh, especially in uh, places where we may not find the the physical sources of. Uh, uh, groundwater related uh, literature or uh, data and uh, also this uh, the un agencies so uh, they have also uh, maintained and uh, they are maintaining the online libraries as well as, uh, as well as databases i was mentioning the un water consisting of say 28 uh, united nations uh, bodies or agencies and in this case the the recent uh, the the ipcc publications the intergovernmental panel on climate change the world water forum its data the stockholm water and other uh, uh, one. so these also constitute a, a vast amount of uh, uh, internet sources next is the online libraries the databases of government agencies. Some of the government agencies, uh, uh, especially in the US and uh, other developed uh, countries, so they maintain a large amount of uh, uh, database um, on the studies. And uh, so here, I would like to mention the the USGS uh, real time uh, database, and in which the we can get the data pertaining to the the, the discharge of uh, this uh, in the river uh, in the surface water bodies uh, such as rivers as well as uh, the uh, the water table uh, data uh, in the observation networks in the uh, uh, these uh, data stations or uh, gauging stations and uh, so uh, there is uh, here i would like to mention also about this uh, what store it is the national water data storage and retrieval system of uh, uh, usa 
like that. So, there are other online databases, uh, libraries which constitute a large amount of uh, data which is available online. So, uh, coming to this uh, uh, the internet uh, as well as uh, uh, the, uh, the data sources and uh, in the uh, in the Indian context, it is the, the here uh, uh, the National Center for uh, medium range forecasting weather forecasting so this is a center uh, pertaining to so, and so here it uh, the weather forecasting is done and uh, based on this weather so depending upon the the that is the ground water abstraction making suitable uh, assumptions in the the surface water uh, so on. So, there is a possibility there is a there is a very good uh, chance that uh, we can do a reasonable estimate of uh, the ground water availability, the depth of ground water and uh, as well as other as one. So, and there are other there are also other uh, agencies say like in India there is uh, what is called the National Institute of uh, Ocean Technology. NIOT in uh, Chennai. So, they have done uh, a uh, very uh, useful study on uh, this desalination of uh, uh, sea water, so as to provide fresh water. And uh, they have done a very good study on uh, the fresh water sea water interface. And uh, so, it provides a very good uh, this one, because it is uh, mentioned that. So, this uh, in spite of all the studies on this uh, uh, all the studies as well as literature as well as data which is available on ground water which constitutes a major uh, source of uh, fresh water. So, uh, still there is a need that uh, because of the adverse impacts of uh, climate change uh, and uh, global warming. So, the, uh, the water resources the fresh water resources are uh, getting depleted quantitatively as well as uh, they are getting polluted uh, qualitatively. So, therefore, so this uh, the study on this uh, fresh water sea water interface as well as uh, the, the study on desalination and uh, using and uh, generating fresh water which obviously, which is being done in nature in the form of hydrologic cycle. So, through evaporation and then so the storage of uh, the atmospheric uh, uh, moisture which has evaporated from the surface water bodies into the clouds and then subsequent condensation and precipitation. So, here so this desalination represents the artificial uh, way of uh, uh, this one that is uh, the artificial uh, replica uh, replication of the natural hydrologic cycle or water cycle. So, and also it is said that in the world, so more than uh, say 50 percent of the global population, it is estimated the some it is some the exact estimate is around say 60 percent of the global population lives in a region uh, in uh, a region close to the coast which is within say 100 kilometers of the coast. So, therefore, so, the, there have been attempts in the Middle East as well as in India, in uh, say USA as well as other uh, regions 
on the uh, uh, this uh, uh, that is the uh, the desalination aspect as well as producing fresh water so they it also represents a large amount of uh, uh, data pertaining to this one and added to that so there have been say the uh, artificial say this is the groundwater recharge guidelines then uh, guidelines for uh, water harvesting say guidelines for uh, say groundwater pollution mitigation etc so such guidelines have been published by various uh, government agencies as well as uh, various uh, non governmental agencies and uh, other uh, professional the organizations so these uh, guidelines so they are uh, based on the uh, the case studies uh, which are existing which are uh, pertaining to groundwater and uh, so these also present a large amount of uh, very useful information as to how to address the issues of uh, the groundwater uh, decrease in quantity as well as quality and also there have been uh, this uh, other sources on uh, groundwater and many times so there are uh, many undocumented or under documented uh, uh, this uh, uh, literature pertaining to groundwater and many experts on groundwater so they have uh, formed their own networks and uh, they have formed uh, their own uh, sources of uh, literature or data and many of uh, these sources and literature so they are also available uh, the online uh, and uh, this one so these form uh, some additional sources of uh, groundwater so essentially so our objective this in this uh, through this uh, chapter 1 which is on introduction in this we discussed about the background the we discussed about the historical background we discussed about the groundwater utilization we discussed about the the groundwater its uh, position or its uh, status in the hydrologic cycle we also discussed the groundwater budget which is based on the mass conservation principles we discussed the groundwater level fluctuations and the environmental influence and lastly we discussed about the the various literature data as well as internet uh, sources or uh, resources which are available uh, related to groundwater so uh, this uh, completes the first chapter on uh, introduction and uh, in the next chapter we will uh, discuss on the occurrence as well as movement of uh, uh, groundwater so thank you and uh, so we will uh, in the next uh, the the second chapter the next lecture will be on uh, the second chapter on uh, say groundwater occurrence and uh, movement thanks you thank you